Oh, better. Yeah, better. Yeah. Uh, 900 percent, but I'll play for sure. Uh, I don't want to miss no game. How did you hurt your ankle? Uh, I twisted it in the first half. The last game. The last game. Okay. Didn't you have some issues with that, like two or three games ago, or something was going on? Yeah, I had issues with it already, but I'm good. I'm good. How do you, how do you guys work this on losing streak? What do you got to do? Uh, I think we we got to play together. Uh, we work. I think these three days that we have, we turn on our defense, and I think that's that's a key for us. How do you how do you? Uh, Talk about your defense. Has it been what you wanted it to be so far this season? Yeah, I mean, uh, there was always uh, room for improvement as myself, as everybody. So, like I said, we got to do the defense as a team. That's, that's the most important. Have there been any surprises for you so far in the NBA? No, I mean, I watched the NBA a lot last year. And through my, my life, I watched a lot of NBA, so I knew how it would be. Speed of the game is what you thought it would be? Yeah, I mean, speed is, is quick. Uh, it's quicker than Europe. Uh, the core is more wider. There's uh, more space to drive. But yeah, that's it. The team has scored pretty well in transition in the open floor. But what are some things that you and the rest of the team can do to score better when the game slows down in the half court? I mean, I think we we don't have to worry about our offense. Uh, I think when, we do, when our defense is good, we have a great offense. So... That's, that's the thing we got to do. Yeah, you keep up. You have time to keep up with some of the other rookies we're doing in the league, DeAndre Ayton and Trey Young and those guys. Yeah, I mean, they're great players. I know they were going to do good, but I'm not really worried about that. I'm worried about my team. Uh, we're not really good right now, and that's all I want to worry about. So why do you think you guys are not really good right now? Uh, like I said, our defense is, is not as good as it should be. And I think that's that's um, like I said, most important part for us. How do you fix it? How do you fix your defense? Uh, practicing trust of each other, and I think trusting each other. So. You, throughout your life, you fit on winning teams. Does, how different does it feel being team? It's frustrating for me because I've been always on the winning teams. So when we lost one game, I was so mad. So it's just different and hard for me. Is it taking, I mean, you don't want to get used to losing, but it is an 82-game season. There's going to be a lot of losses. Is that part of the adjustment, just kind of mentally understanding it's a long season? Yeah, it's more mental because, yeah, you need to get used to it because a lot of more games, and, and you just got to get used to it. Have you and DeAndre had a chance to discuss the rebounding deal or whatever? Yeah, no, no worries about that. Uh, just, you just a rebound. So no worries about that. You're taking a lot of step back shots. Is that a shot you feel comfortable with? Do you think it's a good shot for you? Yeah, um, I always done this. I think that that's my move, and I really like. It. Luca, obviously you knew uh, you were ready for this this league, but was there ever a time in training camp or maybe preseason? where there was a moment, there was a play that you solidified to yourself and you made up your mind that you can hang in India? Uh, that's hard. I, mean, I always knew I was ready. I know a lot of people thought that I wasn't ready because I was in Europe, but Europe is, I mean, EuroLeague is really hard to play. It's uh, one of the, the second hardest league in, in the world. So I know I was prepared. You have been playing pro ball in Europe. For years. Thank people can't forget that, that you have been playing for I mean, yeah, uh, some of them, but I mean, I've been a pro since I was like, I don't know, 16. So I've been playing uh, with growing up all my life. Even after the trip stops, even after the dirt, even after all these successful players who come from Europe, did you feel that there was a stigma against you? I mean, I think Euro players is getting more and more recognized, like Chris Tubbs, of course, Dirk, and the Tocumpo. So, yeah, uh, Jokic, I don't know. There's a lot of players. And I think we're proving uh, that we can play in this league. You said so you've watched a lot of NBA games. You know John Wall is pretty fast. Uh, how fast do you think you're actually ready for how fast he actually is? 
Ah, uh, it is too fast for me, so I gotta let this job to someone else. <laughs> I talked with Sazonia about uh, how in Europe they teach you guys all the how how to handle and, and do multiple things, no matter how tall or small you are. Do you think that uh, that helps create better NBA players to be skilled, no matter how tall you are? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I think one example is Jokic. He's a center and he's just doing some point guard stuff and. I mean, yeah, we do that a lot. Everybody's working on the same thing on dribbles, passing, so yeah. So who's the fastest, John Wall or Dennis Smith? I don't know. That, that's hard. They're, I think they're the two most fastest guys in the league. So you just let Dennis be the John and I go. Yeah, that's why they're the, the fastest ones. <laughs>